What's going on, guys? This is the that may very well be an all-out brawl between Anthony and Live commentary. I've done live commentary in a little while. And Anthony, Showtime Pets. <clears throat> Our tale of the tick. Um, I would have started the commentary earlier, but anytime I start commentary in like the Anthony fighter select screen, it always like uh and here we go. gets copyright because of all the songs. Strikers. White trunks for Pettis. So I'm starting it now. Black but, trunks um, for Pettis. It already looks like it's Anthony high. Pettis has some <coughs> of the fastest, most dynamic kicks. I haven't done, I haven't played too arts. much. Look out for those. I mean, I've been making a lot of highlights, but other than that, I don't really play the game too much. And a good job. And I just figured I would make Tried a, to time a, straight right. a uh, live commentary. A little update since it's... Pettis with the nice straight. It's 4th of July. And uh, tomorrow... Pettis with the block. Tomorrow the fifth, and I'm flying out to Vegas for, for the week. Got explosive jab. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. So I'm going to International Fight Pettis Week, with a good point. and I'll be finishing off my week by uh, seeing UFC 200. Strong jab. Body kick, look at that. Big that's, combination. That's become like a yearly thing now. The last three years I've gone to Fight Week and gone to the pay-per-view event at the end of the week. <clears throat> Pretty excited. Just missed with the right hand. You and I don't sound excited. I've been having this thing with uh, my voice. I've been losing my voice. Just over three now. Oh! So it's hard to talk. That is with big kick. Yeah. Oh! Hopefully nice going to be able to Pettis. meet a lot of fighters. Hopefully go to Good the one. EA booth. And play against some fighters. Maybe I'll get somebody to take a video of me or something. He misses with the jab. Hopefully it won't be in like 240p like last year when oh, I played with kick. Rumble. <laughs> Strong jab by Pettis. Maybe Another I'm actually vicious on this leg fight. Kick I played Pettis, Pettis yep. because I haven't played him in a long time. And I haven't gone for any like for super the head kick, crazy knockout nice in a while either. I don't even know if Pettis will do that in this fight because it's lagging every so much. Time he fights. Joe, the fans just love Showtime. He's doing a really good Pretty job good. of timing these shots. Freezing. Skipping frames. Tagged him. He lands the spinning back fist. <clears throat> he avoided damage blocking the big kick. I'm the only one that thinks that the spin kicks Hit him with the jab. bring too much stamina now, though. High kick. Like, maybe not some of the ones. Some of the spin kicks that hit don't drain too, too much. Especially if you land them, Nasty like kick the body kicks. Punches and bunches. He wants the finish. The body kicks, like the spinning Nasty kicks in the body, the body, they Your just drain so much stamina. Big straight punch. Solid. Like, uh, I don't know if yeah, Pettis has the regular. On another one. That hurt him. On his lead leg, he has the regular roundhouse, but then on his back leg, he has a spinning back kick. But then uh, somebody like Donald Cerrone or Wonder Boy. They have that spinning kick on their right leg, by Pettis. and that thing takes so much stamina. Consistent like, use of the jab, I don't, outstanding. I, think, I just think it's too much. By Pettis. Another nasty kick lands. He connects with the left. Ten seconds. Big shots. Pettis oh. landed some good shots here. Right. Yeah, and the end of the round. Great performance by sure, both This is turning into a um, very I tagged the lightweight matchup. and middleweight when I queued up for the fight because um, I had whatever the thing is, the, and here we see steps up. the suggested fighter. Really I think it was Nate Diaz and Little Machida, but I didn't want to play Nate Diaz because I just did a highlight video with him the other day. <clears throat> Second round. So I chose Pettis Joe, and Wade Amir, which I meant to that guy's blow, but just press the button too That was a solid round. The feeling out process is over. I think they're going to get after it. I now. think I gave him the first round because I was talking it's and not really doing anything solid for half the round. He just whips that punch in. But, uh, Continue I'm going to actually try to do strike. something this nice round. Kick. Pettis gets tagged with the right. There he goes with the one-two. Pettis is a superman punch in his back hand. Oh, and there's the right hand. I don't really like the Superman punches. Two out. great warriors going to battle here. Wow! Oh! Hard timing punch. Oh! 
In the first game, they were just a little hard. too good. And now in this one, I don't feel like they're good enough. Beautiful body shot there, too. Oh, kind of the same thing with feet. the hooks. In the first game, big the hooks were like king. Oh, big punches, they were king. But in this oh, one, they head. really just are not very good. They're actually slower to throw in combination than uppercuts. Which is kind of silly when you, I mean, have you ever done any boxing or any martial art where you're throwing punches? I, wouldn't, I don't know if I would say hooks are faster than uppercuts, but they're definitely not. They shouldn't be slower than uppercuts to throw in combination. That's why you see people in this game throw uppercuts like two or three at a time, because they're just faster. The hooks are not faster. Powerful jab, big punches. He has a huge elbow to the head. Oh, and another jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, big elbow. elbow lands. He is in trouble. He's stunned. The head hunts a little bit. I'll try. Mm -hmm. Hurt him with that right. Probably out of the question to hurt him to the body. Rocked him with that right hand. Combination. Oh. That actually hit him. Huge kicks. Maybe he was just slowing oh, up. Big shot. Oh, very nice. He's only blocking his head. So. Okay, I, right. I was moving my head and I just didn't Single, single leg. Dude, if you got rocked bad with Anthony Pettis, you would not be able to get out. You'd be screwed. In the full guard, nice reversal. You'd be so screwed. I wasn't paying attention at the time. Grabs his ankle, pulls down on his shin. Usually, if I get hurt with bad with a fighter, like um, my head is really red and I just got knocked down, I'll go over side control and go for the single leg. Usually, most people don't deny the single leg from side control. <clears throat> they don't deny the uh, the transition. Usually, they'll deny the takedown once they realize what's happening. But you'll just get a free. Typically, you'll get a free stand up. Some people are good enough to deny it before you even transition, and some people are a fighter or the time that you deny. It, I'm not sure. You uh, just sprawl on you, which that I guess jab. that's not as bad. But He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Nice leg kick. Very nice. Pettis with the combination. High kick. Wow. He hurt him. Trying to stay out of trouble here. I need to. That's a big right hand. Oh. What an exchange. I need exchange. to do something I don't want to do. Oh, that one hurt him. Oh, he's landing. I need to try some right ground. Even That's though I don't jump. like when Huge people elbow. go out of their way to finish fights in the clinch. Wow! He lands another elbow. Vicious elbow. Alright, this feels dirty. I'm not gonna knee him, but this feels really dirty. And they separate. He's looking for the highlight real finish. Yeah. Pettis with the solid kind of let him out, right. that just felt too dirty. Anthony Pettis is continuing to attack that bad eye. He certainly is targeting it, and the more that eye swells, the less his opponent's going to be able to see the punches coming. Both men throwing. Big elbow lands oh, the head. He's hurt. Elbow. He's in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Oh, I'm not careful. I can lose this fight. shot to the body. He's clinching me now. The first thing he does is throw a knee. Where's my fucking punch, dude? There's a big left hand. I'm staying on the cage because I kind of want him near me. Wow, swing and a miss. What a jab. How good is this? Wow! Unbelievable! So I kind of wanted him near me so I could do something like that. Where are you going to go? It's a half guard. He's got control. Very nice. Moved into side control. Excellent 
excellent movement on the ground here, Maybe always not. trying to better his position. Take down. And a nice takedown by Pettis. I don't even want to go for a submission. He's not letting me stand up. Get up. Get up. God damn it. Get up. One minute. Stand up. In this please. <laughs> it was like 30 Back seconds up. wasted. 45 seconds. Pettis with the kick to the body. Okay, okay, didn't hit me. 30 seconds now. Come on, dude. Oh, nice. Both men scoring points here. Wow. Wow. Oh, he dives into a huge haymaker. Gross. I'm getting up, so I don't really do anything. And this fight goes the distance. It was kind of lagging, too. The judges render their decision. Anthony Pettis is I feel like I lost. And here's Bruce Buffer with the official. Apparently, I won. He knocked me down like two times in the last, second round. I knocked him down twice in the third, so I guess I uh, must have won the first round. I'm not totally positive. One more total strike. He landed one more significant strike. He landed more percentage wise in the first. Uh, it's kind of a toss up around, honestly. That one obviously knocked me down twice, so it's pretty much two rounds automatically. And what's this? Third round is definitely mine, so I kinda wanna keep playing UFC. Maybe do another live commentary. But I also kinda don't. I wanna just play Overwatch. We'll see. Anyway, till next time. Remember it goes. Peace.